Alright folks, so, round two of Dustbox. When we last left, left off, I believe we had messages to the effect that we can now build slaughterhouses to feed our troops. Uh, we're now going to do that as soon as our building is complete. We've got land coming up here, that's right. Just get my bearings again. And, yeah, we're looking good. Absolutely. So for those of you who don't get a chance to do it, have a great Valentine's weekend. Uh, I have already got my present organised for my missus and uh, she loves it. Uh, I've given it to her early because I'll be working uh, this weekend, as, as always. And. Uh, we did good. We're going out for some dinner this evening. Hopefully. Hope you guys all have a good, quiet weekend of your own. Uh, and uh, let's just get caught up and see who's doing what. So we've got two fisheries, both doing stuff. That doesn't matter anymore. No, I don't. I've got a fishery in a barracks, that's right. Point them not. Not if these guys are cutting wood like no business. Right, these two woodcutters are working flat out to try and get us wood. So you see, he brought a log all the way along this route here. There he is. That then gets brought down here. It should stop at the slaughter. It should just stop here. That would be handy. Yep. And you probably won't see very well because the fly being in the way, but this guy's going to start working away at the sawmill. He's going to make some planks of wood. Boom. Planks. And someone's going to come and get those. The donkey's going to come and take those. Where? Where do they go? Okay, I'm brought back in here. There we are. Finally, we get a bit of a stockpile going on. This log. I'm going to get brought up to this one and turn it into planks as well. So, supplies looking better there. These planks got brought up earlier. And that's to build our bakery. Let's try to get our bakery to get in the way. Oh! This guy's out of stone. It's easy there's no stone nearby, he's got nothing to do. No point in having this here, it's a waste of time. So we'll just cut that down. We could, in fact, replace that with a... Once it's done build burning, we could replace that building with something else. Uh, we could, for example, expand out this way. But I don't think there's going to be much land to actually use there. Our stone car here though is chipping away, so that's good. And it's important that you get rid of buildings and their more importantly the people who are using the buildings and get them back to base if they're no longer being useful. Uh, for example, that's why I got rid of a hunter earlier. Oh, there goes that log there. And uh, it's also why I've just got rid of that quarry stone. There's no point having them there, it's a waste of time. And yeah, we've had to lose the resources in terms of building the woods, but he's provided so much building material himself, it's worth it. And that's the building slowly going up. Back in a moment. Oh, never mind. This barracks is uh, now been built, so we should have a knight coming along. There he is. So watch what happens to the border once he jumps into the base. This should get pushed back. 
I don't have all this nice flat land here. Well, hopefully it's flat land. <laughs> to build some more. Once that happens, I'll be able to expand out into these mountains as well and see what else turns up. The one annoying aspect of loading a save game is that you lose a lot of your signposts. So if you know there was coal over somewhere before, it's not there anymore. Ta da! Boom! So you see, I've just gained all this land myself. There's more stone up here. What I'm going to do first though is get the geologist to come along and say hi to that. Do we have a geologist out? Nope. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Yes, I know. I <laughs> think we're starting to see how it starts to look. So there'll be a small lake right across here. Bit. There's a fair bit of room to expand to the left. So I think. That might be an idea. How's he? How's his production? Doing okay. How's this guy doing? He's not getting a lot of green. Water as well, doesn't he? There should be a well up here if I remember rightly. So one well there. Ooh, we've discovered gold. Now, gold's important for a few reasons. Where does he find it? Oh, and I can build on it too. So let's get that gold mine on the go. What else has he found? He's found more coal. Don't really need coal. But, never hurts to have some, so let's get some stuff piled up. Now we can build a mint. That mint takes gold that you've got. Do we have any golds? No. So I'm not going to build that until we've got a pile of it yet, but... And then takes your gold ore and turns it into gold coins. Gold coins let you train up your troops. Because apparently soldiers like shiny things. See, I can now build on this area now. Uh, let's get another forester on the go. I want there to be plenty of logs to be got. In fact, no. We'll build the barracks and extend out. Right, I have. Right, it's okay. I was going to say, I have no idea what this road's for, but it's to get the farm sorted out. Alright, we've got plenty of water. We need to get some grain on the go though. I'm going to build another farm. I'm going to build it right here. Let's see if we can up the amount of grain that we can supply. And 
the same time. We're going to have a bit of an expansion phase here. I'm going to build the barracks because I want to supply more food from the fishery. See, I could build a house here, but you see that land's been taken out of the grain there, so that's a bad idea. And in an ideal world, there'd be loads of space around, so this would be able to be built on all these places, all these roads as well. But as you can see, that's not going to happen. Here, however, is a slightly different case. As this stone gets used up, all this area around here will be turned, will be turned into farmland. That's the plan anyway. Carpet is getting stuck in with the wood. That's good. That's all the boards being used. Got a good supply of stone. Got some meat. You see that log turned over? And that forester is going to come in and plant a sapling right there. And then he's probably going to go to this position and build another one. Oh, no. he's going to go back to his house and then do it. So Mr. Woodcarter gets his turn now. He goes out. And over the while you'll see this tree grow. Let's pick this tree. Slap. Good chunk of log out of that. Drops it off outside his door. Says, hey you, come get this. And we see now this uh, donkey route is getting more and more expansive. He's uh, lugging iron and corn and all sorts of, it's not corn, flour rather, all the way up there. Excellent. That got built in record time actually. It's really just desert out there, there's really not a lot. But... It means I can put a fishery out here and hopefully he'll go this far out. And I want to provide as much food for my guys as possible because starving is not cool. Put a flag in the middle there just to help just keep the supply route running. So. Now, once we get up to this middle meadow here, I'm hoping there'll be more rabbits and other visible wood life, and if there is, then I'll get a hunter. I do need to expand out this far as well though, so let's do that. And I think the easiest way to do this is a quick demonstration on how to manually build a road. Because I don't want... There we go. That lane means I don't lose all this housing area if I want to use it for anything. Say, for example, the mint. Actually, that's a great idea. It's going to take ages to get built, so we may as well get right in on it. Blap. There we go. And loads of forestry over here. I wonder. A farm going up here. I should probably send the geologists around this area to try and see if they can find me some water. Send 
another Sergeologist out, and I can also say, ask for the scout to come out. What the scout will do is he'll, he's allowed to walk up beyond our borders, and he's allowed to just go for a wander about. He only gives us an expansion view of the map, that's all. I'll send him out there, too. So many scouts did I have? I don't think we've got any scouts, in fact. Certainly not anymore. Oh, I've got six scouts, that's fine. Plenty of donkeys as well. See, this well is doing pretty good. Lots and lots of buckets of water. They're all being brought up to... Yes, the bakery. The bakery needs water. And grain. How's this producing? It's getting better. We're getting finally a good couple of seasons where... You'll notice there's constant rotation, so as soon as this one gets harvested, they'll plant, replant it while these ones are still growing. Or so I hope the theory goes. What has he found? Water! Yes! As soon as that gets mined, whenever that is, I'll put another well up there, and that's perfect because it's really close to the bakery and it'll be really close to the farm as well. Oh, yes! Loads more water. Well, this is good because you can see the scout has had a little bit of a wander about. Hello. Ah, now there's a spring. So let's. Yes, that's fine. You can stop looking for a rope. You're going to just decorate the whole place in wells now. We'll take the two wells. We won't have a shortage of war now. Now he's starting to look at the mining areas. Nothing there, that's handy. Can't build anything there anyway. Now I wonder if the fact that there's flowers growing is a subtle hint that there might be a good source of water there. That would be an interesting theory. More war. Oh, they're just finding war everywhere now. Well, I don't need them to keep looking anymore. This is getting silly. Who's the scout doing? What's he found? Where has he found it? So he's gone all the way over that mountain. Had a good wander about and found. What's that? More trees. So when I expand out this way, I should be able to expand back this way, I guess. Bit messy. But there you have it. And the other scout has reached the perimeter here. Ah, uh, now that building's been occupied. Yes! Called it. Which means I could. There's more stone up here. Not a lot, but some. I'm going to put a fishery up here, actually. So. Here we go. Give me a fishery. Yippee! What's he found? Oh, more wells down here. Jeez, war everywhere, man. What's he found? Gold! There's gold in them isles. These guys can, like, stop digging. You, you can't tell them, they just keep going until they decide they've had enough. Usually when, they've, usually when they have a few empty spots in a hole. Oh yeah, so that was going to be a fishery. I don't need the two quarries, that's going to get silly. 
However, that does look like another good place to put a farm, right next to the wells. Two wells. And... Needs to be good amount of gra green area as well, you see, because otherwise there's no room for them to build, so... Uh, take up another farm here. Boom. And we will put on... We'll leave it for now. Right, is the sawmill running at capacity? Yeah. It's just not getting enough logs. Alright. Well. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but let's put in another wood car down here. And we'll tie the road off there. I wonder if there's other songs I can put on, because I love this music, but... Oh, no, don't crash, don't crash. <sighs> Get in here. Ah, so you don't. You can pick up stuff and so. Yes, when you had a, in the days when you had a CD player, you can just tell it to play what's ever in the CD, ever in the CD drawer. Extremely effective one. Ah, distribution goods. Granite mines aren't getting anything because, well, we don't need that. Your gold mines are going to get their scale back a little bit. Sweet. Yep, it's fine. Uh, don't have a brewery yet, so that doesn't matter. So the mill and the pig farm will get even distribution. Don't have a metal works, so that doesn't matter. I need more steel. Try and keep it as even as possible. I don't have a shipyard yet, so that doesn't matter. Don't have metal works yet, so that doesn't matter. Water. Give good amounts to all. Yay! I have more land. Okay, so. What do we do? Well, we've got more mountain range. So, I've got more land to expand onto. Now, later on, you get bigger buildings which are give you which hold more, which hold take more land. So, in the meantime, this whole leapfrogging thing can stop pretty quickly. Once I've expanded out here, I'll start building structures to take care of this forested area. And we're now starting to get far enough away from the building line where I may actually start putting up a forester and a uh, sawmill up here. So this is our all of our wood here. And at the moment, it looks like we're starting to reclaim that land because trees are going down faster than they grow. On the surface of things, this looks like a bad thing because I'm going to eventually run out of wood, but trust me, wood production is not a problem right now. I'm actually, it's the slowest thing of it. I need as much wood being produced as possible. The forest is just slowing the process down to a certain extent. another wood car coming up so that should keep the forester's hands tied up. I will however, there's a well nearby. Don't want to screw around with these. Oh, I forgot to put a road in here. 
There we go. That was dumb. I'm sure you could get built much there. Standard farm, other standard farms. It's currently chipping away. Well provided there for, but we don't, we still don't have a lot of grain, so there's more, at least there's more grain going there. Mill, check. Do I actually have a bakery? And if so, where? Iron Smeller, he's not very productive because I'm not getting a lot of iron. Probably because... Yeah, our coal output is next to zero because I'm not feeding these guys well enough. Uh, that's the mint. Still being built? No. Ah, there he is. He's going to start building stuff for us. As soon as he gets gold. No. We really need to keep on top of the food situation right now because that's becoming a problem. Okay, where is my bakery? Did I make a bakery? Am I making bacon? Ah, bakery, there you are. So he's getting flour. He's getting plenty of water. He's not getting a lot of flour though. Hopefully the grain... You know, if I build, I should build a mill right here. If I build a mill, then the grain doesn't have to go all the way back down there. To go all the way back up here, you see. Think smart. So at the moment all the grain has to all, all the grain has to come all the way down here to go all the way back up there, which is well it's stupid. Send another scout out here, hopefully I'll chip away some more of this area. As a bonus, I would like the map as fully explored as I can reasonably get to it. I am going to send a scout out to this area as well. Okay, so we're getting there. We minted our first gold coins, and now you can pay to train the soldiers. But which ones are getting trained? <laughs> He's waiting on coal. Give me coal. Fish, bread and meat is what we need. I could probably get a hunter out, but it would make sense to put one in the forested area, I guess, because I don't actually know if that's how it works, but that's certainly what I would expect. So let's do that. Hang on a minute. This road is retarded. Boom. Boom. Oh, these trees love to get in your way so much.
It's a bit messy, but hopefully should be a little bit better for the supply route. I just don't understand why I can't just go from there to there, but apparently not. In fact, can I? Yes, I can. Let's put the flag down. Is there a road there? There is. So this road is completely useless. So I've got this road here and this road here. Okay, that makes a bit more sense now. Now in ideal fashion you wouldn't have all your wood over here going to all the way over here. In fact, if I could come up with a conceivable way to get a more direct route. It'd be so much nicer if I could just get a direct route all the way over here. Now, it looks like it should be possible, but somehow it's not. Probably because it gets in the way of the camp. Oops, there we go. Now, I am. Um, I've got meat on the ready to go, but I don't have ham. Did I make a butcher's? Or do I need to? Slaughterhouse. I'm an idiot. Let's make some ham. Let's not do it there though. That's a stupid idea. Where can I put the slaughterhouse where the pigs will have to travel far? Hmm. This on the surface of things makes things the most obvious, but you might have to Yeah, let's let's play with the road a little bit here. So streamline this road. No, 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 not right the way through there. It's right the way through the guy's land, that's a bad idea. See the more farms you can pull, the more efficient you can produce, the more grain you can produce. Ooh, granite in the rounds. Yeah, a granite mine. Really just mines granite. But when the stone on the surface starts running out, that's going to become a thing, so let's go ahead and do that. So I can now build a granite mine. It's fine. So this pioneer, that's his name, is now flattening the land out, raising parts and lowering others so that you've got a nice sturdy foundation to dig this bit on. This will make this land easier to travel around as well, which is actually handy. It'd be nice if I could just get this hump gone altogether, but you can't just send them out to randomly flatten places. Sadly. Big gold coin. <laughs> the size of that thing. Okay, so we've got loads of flour. We've got beer. That's handy, we don't actually have a brewery yet. Plenty of meat. From the pigs. Let's to all go out to the slaughterhouse though, which is what we're working on now. So pig farm's getting up to percentage. Takes a while, but it's getting there. 
farm is getting there too, and this guy is just getting started as well. I'm going to make another pig farm right here, next to all that water. I think that makes plenty of sense. I'll go around this way because it looks like a shorter route. Dig this road up here and make a direct byway to this one. And that should tidy things up a bit there. It's another well. I'm not going to have a shortage of war, that's for sure. Is that stone car getting on? He's chipping away. Forrester's keeping on top of this, like, well done to him. Fighting against three slow, three wood cars? That's impressive. How did our scout get on? Ooh, what's this? That's a construction site. As is this, that's fine. Fishers get his fishing on. I wonder how the fishing is. And you see some of these well-travelled paths here that have got this highway going all the way from well, effectively, the uh, iron ore area, all the way up to, well, all the way up to Baker even. So that's clearly all the grain is mostly causing that travel, along with iron ore and everything else. See, if a lot of resources need to go along the same route over and over again, it starts becoming a donkey path. Because donkeys carry everything at once. Right, so that's that's finally getting put up. That's good. Slaughterhouse. So the pigs are getting carried away from the farm. They're just gonna serve. They're just gonna live out live out what's left of their lives in the camp. We've got nine hogs ready to be fattened up. So they're getting fish. Bread, hopefully. You're getting there with the bread. A big chunk of bread. And that bread goes straight out to the, the to the to the mines. We are getting a little more productive, shall we say? I am tempted to build another bakery. Just kind of really amp up production. I don't want to get in the way of that guy's stuff. Two bakeries right next to each other. Hmm, that seems a bit heavy handed. Well, there's grain down here and no bakery down here, but there's no place to put the guy. It's annoying. It'd be nice if some of these trees cleared out a bit. And you can see what's happening to our border. This is what I was saying earlier on in the first episode about how the maps kind of lap over each other. Now, let's see. 
Pillas. Pillas, I don't need it. Well, that did open up things a bit for me, didn't it? Ah, has to that a junction. I've got to keep that here. However, what I might do instead is change this. Oh no, that's a terrible idea. That's an awful idea. Oh, I do it that way. does not help us at all. Well, you know what I'll do? I'll put another road down here and we'll just call that good. You know what? Actually... There. Yeah, this is, we now have a supply chain going up to the top here. It still gives this place plenty of work room to work. Yes, that works much nicer. You will find yourself occasionally just kind of streamlining roads and making them a little bit better. Uh, just to help move things around or free up space that you feel that you need. So, it would be really cool to find out what you'd also like to see. Getting enough logs coming into the, getting enough wood coming into the base, which means my sawmill is probably running at close to capacity. These these places are starting to open up now. Not that it's going to be long because this forest is going to come down and plant something right where he took it. You see now the trees are starting to thin up a bit. We are starting to get a little bit more room. Believe me, this is not a bad thing anymore because we're getting close to our end game. Just for this level. Soldiers coming along. Da -da 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 -da. Walking past the gold mines where he's going to get paid, hopefully. It's the coal supply looking mediocre at best, so I've done a really terrible job of uh, feeding my guys. <laughs> this guy's doing okay because he's got food. You see how productive they get once they actually have so, something to get. So this guy's obviously getting all the good food. And these guys are getting sawed on. But this iron mine is turning out okay given that it's not being very well fed. I really need to get better with the supply of food. Military building occupied. Yay! Well, you know what we're going to do this time, right? Another barracks. You just keep on going. Boom. And then we'll send out a scout to come home, look further forward, hopefully. That looks like weird, crazy dinosaurs and shit. That's weird. What we'll also do is we will take advantage of this wooded area and we will get ourselves a hunter. In fact, belay that. We will get get a wood car here. And once he claims land, put the geologist in here, see what turns up around this area. And we will put another fishery right up here, I think. I don't know. Let's see where this guy goes first. I will, however, I am sorely tempted to, in fact. Ah, uh, should I put another farm out? With two, three farms? This is starting to turn into kind of area A and area B almost, isn't it? So, they've got a stone supply, they've now got a wood supply. For construction, which should speed things up. Uh, mills, bakery, 
Yep. No real bakeries here, but oh, there's a space for a bakery now. Yoink. Just need to find a place to put the road. There we go. Right across there behind the sawmill. And you can see now this woodland area is starting to get really quite aggressively tried taken up, but we've got loads of logs. And the sawmill is working flat out to try and keep them processed. The wells are doing fine in terms of providing us water. Loads of buckets of water. We've got a good supply of iron ore. Uh, we need to get that smelted actually, don't we? Where's the armory? He's getting steel. There's the iron smelter. How's he doing? Uh, he's running out of coal as well. We need to get we need to be, get a bit better with our coal production, so let's let's get some priority stuff done here. Let's give priority to the coal miners. Reduce the priority to the coal miners. Uh, coal, I need more iron, more of that going to there. Less of it going to the vent. Uh, don't need as many. So this is your end of the level, basically. Once you find this, you uh, capture it, you voluntarily go through it, and zap, you're in the next world. By the power of magic. So that's your mission completed. Well, glitch on the shadow artifact there, but okay. Yeah, you don't have to take that on straight away. You can try and just get your guys better fed. You can get a good stockpile of goods, but it won't matter because on the next level you'll be left with sod all. Should've been smarter with my, where I place my armory. It's way too far away from the iron smeller. More water's been found. Don't really need any more war anymore. How are these guys doing? Farms getting built up rather nicely. This farm's doing okay as well. Pick farms, mints. Just make sure I've not forgotten anything else. Oh, what's he found? More granite. Well, we're not really short on it, so I'm just going to leave that for now. It's good to know, though. Can't get to it anyway, it's too close to the other one. Splashed away the side of the rocks there. I'll probably have to build one more, I'll be probably a bit here.
The sawmill is working flat out. And we're still bringing in more. You can see this wood has come right down. This forester is just not able to keep up with the plants, with, with, the, with the cycle. Which is, I suppose, a good thing. So, because... At this point in time, having wood as a choke point is a bit silly. I'm going to have a woodcutter up here though, I? yes. So this pine here will get taken down. And when that happens, I'll start being able to take stuff down here. This highway here. You get highways because the land is flat, it's easy to transportable, and there's a lot of stuff to carry, so the donkeys handle all that for us. It's really cool. And it's going quite far now. The route is going all the way to this well. And it's only a matter of time before it really comes up to this one, I would imagine. And the thing is, as well, of course, is that if I want to stem the, uh, the foresters, keep the forester from working flat out, all I have to do is pull down one of these buildings, and I'll probably be on to a winner there. But interestingly enough, because of all the ground he's uh, clearing for us. I'm actually getting more space to build buildings. Not that I need any more. Yeah, he's casting it just on the edge of the border, that's fine. How's this stone card in? He's got plenty of stone to gather up. But you see what I mean now? This all used to be stone, and now he's got a place to plant more crops. See? Just like that, he's now got a new place to build, build on. Boom. You can now build, eventually be able to cut this chunk of stone down here. But if that has to happen, I might pull the quarry down here and build it up here again. That store, that all that has to get brought all the way down here. So let's not do that. Let's get a sawmill up here. We'll have a mini economy of stone and stone still has to get brought. Oh, I've got the granite. That's going to work nicely. Hey you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. 
Welcome back. Oh, door. Just a moment. Before you wonder about the purple fleece, it's bloody cold in my room. Alright, back. So, let's see. I've got messages. You've got a pigeon. I got my military building occupied, and this mine is exhausted! It's run out! Which one's that? This one! It's well fed as well, that's annoying. Well, it's gonna have to get pulled down. Sorry! How's this one doing? It's got plenty of iron still left in it. Well, let's send the geologist around and see if I can find any more iron in those hills. Finally, getting some decent production. Miners are being fed. We're starting to see a surplus of food, in fact, if anything, which is good. How's the food situation? Nothing staying in the stockpile, which is good, because if it's in the stockpile, it's not being used. If it's not being used, then uh, I have too much food production and not enough consumption, which means I need more miners and stuff. <sighs> the dog wants back out again. Back in a moment. All right. Oh, more iron's been found. Handy dandy. In a really useless location. Keep looking, mate. Oh, pulling down a well, a, a well produced iron. Ah, I'm not producing a decent mine. Now, please find something there, because I can put a mine right there. Nothing! Of course. So much for asking, you shall receive. I really should pull this flag down. It's a bit better. Let's do that. Let's make me cut this road here. Space. Yes, that makes a little bit more area for me to work with. Come on. Oh, nothing. Bad. Find, uh, that's the only place I'll find iron. That's going to piss me off. Now he's going to find water. Despite the fact I told him to look in the fucking mountains. You know what? Let's put another geologist right up here. Me another one. Yeah, that's a good place to put a mine. What's he found? What's he found? What's he found? Sodol. Lasai. Thing again. Well, there's another geologist coming out. He's looking around in all kinds of stupid places. I want them looking further up here. It's so actually you can't just tell them to do that. If 
he finds something there, I might try to take the show up. Gonna dig it up anyway. It's just a waste. Supply chain for the coal. Supply chain for what's left of my iron right there. Good food supply coming in here and out here. Oh, what's he found? Yes. And I can't get to it because too close to the border. Hopefully there's one here. Yes. Iron. Thanking you. Your work here is done. So you find more iron. Oh, what's he found now? There's no more stone. Help! Well, hope you don't hope you don't like your home too much. Oh, you dumbass! This is why the pathfinding can be a bit retarded, shall we say? There, I think you should give him. Dug in the same spot there. There we are. More iron there. Right. Two iron mines is plenty. That's just getting greedy now. Let's call Jaws here because I think I'll need more coal soon. I will definitely need to up my. My, st my stone production now, so let's get this quarry on the go. Boom. So that's the last bit of raw stone on the map, really. Apart from little chunks here and there, which apparently are just out of his reach. Forrester is having a hard time keeping up with that scale. So, we're going to pull one of these down now. So, we're getting to a point where they're running out of wood to cut. Which suits me just fine. Slaughterhouse is having a remarkably effective short trip there. This highway's improved all the way out to here. It's probably going to go to the mill or to the slaughterhouse now. He has done sod all. He's a waste of time. Get him out of there. Get rid of that road there. And just build directly to that, please. Yes, I can. Coal mine, please. And put it there. That's actually a good route. Doesn't matter if he finds it there, I can't get to it. Thank 
What's down here? Well, I don't know looks of it. Right, well, as I correctly expected, military building is... Just about to get to the site, and not quite. So that's fine. We will take this last long look around. I'll send this guy one last time to shadow this area. And uh, we shall see how things go. I need to get a proper webcam at some point in time, this is getting far too silly. Start the app. So the thing is, this is a great for short video calls, involving Skype and things like that. I'm guessing, but for long-term webcamming, like on a Let's Play, consisting of nearly an hour. No. That wood car is getting busy. Sawmill's getting busy as well, that's fine. Granite mine is trying to get busy, but it isn't probably getting much luck. I will need a forester though, because this guy is hammering through the food. Build a waterway, huh? Ah, screw it, why not? hilariously good fun. Actually, there's no point in that because I don't have... I don't actually have boats yet. Oh, gold! Good seams of it too. You see here we've got two good size piles of gold here. One right next to the other. I'm not going to build on it because there's no point. It's a waste of resources given how close we are to the end game now. All this forested area here would be nice as well, but once again, not bothered. Camera's back up and running. Well, hopefully it is. He's finding huge amounts of gold in that hill. Which is rather depressing, but well. Good supplies of coal as well. None of which I can get to, but when these mines get exhausted, I'll know about it. Probably get a little bit more food on the go here. Does it have to be that way. Yeah. 
supply of iron actually as well. Definitely still not operating with a food surplus yet. Right next to the app, the slaughterhouse on this side. This main highway thing here. Just slowly starting to get back. Now that I've dug the mic. See, I dug this up earlier, so that's kind of slowed things down here. But once these two get enough usage, they'll wear back in again. No, that's the digger for the farm. All these pigs getting carried down. How well supplied is this place? Fairly well. Why is he just standing there with a lump of iron? This is getting so heavily packed up now, there's no room for it all, so he's having to hold on to that to put it down. And then takes the fish up, presumably to this mine near here. You know what, I might actually just put a second route up here. That might help spread it out a bit for him. and that's how you can tell how heavily worn the path is because they're all muscly bound a big heavy manly man all these goods going in and out there we go Supplies are getting up here. They're taking a while, but they're getting there. I'm kind of hoping they're coming straight from the sawmill, to be honest. That would be handy. He's waiting on wood for himself. Unfortunately, that must be here. Thank you. 
He's got plenty of store in this wood. He needs stone now probably. Yeah, there we go, so he's gonna be able to get started on his work now. There's the stone coming along. Stone from the quarry. Why is it going that way? I'll be going for the farm. Okay, let's accelerate this process. Push stone out. All the stone. Some of the uh, buildings we haven't figured out yet. Hello, it came. Boom. We're going to do that on the next live stream, guys. Catch you soon.